Uh, good evening, good evening, Northwest Da, Northwest Da. Here we are again, once more on Puzzle Combat. And uh, today I just thought I'd do a video quickly about dealing with the more difficult levels, but the ones which are worth completing. Um, so for this one, I'm looking at uh, the challenging stage on the uh, well, fortification operations, but it's one of the uh, class uh, operations. Uh, and these are relevant because you can get these tokens, the sharpshooter emblems, and in this case, the engineer emblems. So the emblems can actually really be very valuable for uh, leveling up heroes. And it's worth trying to complete as many levels where you can earn these as you can, um, because they're expensive to, to buy with cash. And if you're a free player like myself, uh, you'll want as many of them as you can to boost your heroes uh, and make your heroes as uh, valid as humanly possible. So to click into it, um, because you are limited on what heroes you can take, you often are, you can't take the, your best heroes. So you can see here that basically all of my five stars are, uh, are out of the game. Uh, there's a couple of five stars I'm work. well, is it a couple? No, one five star I'm working on who will eventually be able to take part on this uh, event. You'll also notice I'm very, very short of healers insofar as I don't have one uh, in these categories. So the two categories are engineers and, uh, I think it was engineers and sniper. Did I re refer to that correctly? Let me, sorry, let me just go back and double check. Uh, it was engineer and yeah, sharpshooter, sorry, not, uh, not sniper. So I can't take any healers. So as a consequence, I've had to take uh, healing potions uh, uh, lots of healing potions. I'm gonna take the standard, uh, very, very cheap bandages and the slightly uh, more expensive health kits. I could take advanced health kits, um, but I'm limited to, to limited, sorry, to five of those. So mm, that's a tough one. I'm gonna go with a cheap, cheap version. And we'll see how we go. Um, the key ingredients though to completing this for me are the chrono blaster and the flame bomb. And we'll talk about those as we go forward. Like I say, I'm very much limited to which heroes I can take. Uh, which is uh, is quite important. Um, there is a little point at the moment in sort of trying to rush my way through the first few um, the first few levels of the mission because quite quite simply put, uh, I why, why hurry? Um, why why rush to get to the end? Because the end is going to be important is the uh, is going to be the wave which is the most difficult and the one which is going to require the most energy and effort, and so I'm saving my battle items for that last wave. Um, I will be using other, um, you know, I'll be using standard tactics as I go on, and I will be using the healing uh, various healing options that I have as I go forward. You'll also notice that I have got uh, the counter attack in the form of flint here. Counter-attack is really useful on, uh, particularly on hard levels, because counter-attack lets you uh, turn a powerful enemy against themselves. So uh, use power uh, counter-attack if you have it. It is useful. It is indeed. Anyway, um, so so far this is going fairly well. I've had some nice boards. Um, not necessarily, as I say, it's not necessarily essential because I am looking at a uh, a what do you call it, a marathon rather than a sprint. I do need to keep an eye on my hero's health because ideally I want everyone to still be alive by the time I get to the boss. It's definitely a lot easier when uh, everyone is still alive. So what I generally do is set myself a uh, sort of limit, and I will say that when any hero's health drops below five hundred, I will uh, use healing potions um he, sorry uh, bandages or whatever keep them alive so you'll see um what's your name wallace there dropped below so wallace got a bit of healing just generally to keep him in the game um the more heroes that i have by the time i get to the boss level uh the better generally speaking i mean that's that's, that's true on any mission really but uh, particularly with ones where you are using heroes who are not the strongest or your best uh it's really worth trying to keep them alive because you never know when you might need them uh but, 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 boom. nobody really needs healing right this second i obviously do have the uh, yellow grenade which i'll blow now clear a bit of the screen uh i'm gonna use oh, no 
the Chrono Blaster. Let's just use a couple of healing potions. Healing potions are relatively cheap, especially as they use food and not iron. So uh, on sort of regular missions, I would suggest they are very good to use uh, and save your more iron-based um, specials for missions where you absolutely use, need to use them. Now, we are on to the boss, uh, and the boss wave was the uh, is obviously the most challenging one. Um, as it stands, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use my special skills I already have available. Now, the, for, for me personally, I would say the two best battle items when you are facing a really difficult mission and you are not in a hurry are Chrono Blasters uh, and Flame Bombs. Now, Chrono Blasters are... For those who play Empires and Puzzles, Chrono Blasters are the same as Time Stops. Um, ex well, except they aren't. They're better. Because if I Chrono Blast these guys, boom! Their, their attack is delayed by a couple of turns. But they're really, their basic attack isn't what I'm worried about. It's their special skills. And if you look closely, you can see that they now have an S with like a little... Um, a little stop icon over it, which means they can't generate uh, special skills whilst that is... Um, they can't generate their mana bar, their... Um, what do we call It's not mana bar in this. Um, their special skill bar. I can't think what you should call it. Basically, it remains empty. They cannot charge. They cannot gain charge to charge up their own special skills. And obviously, that's going to be really important in terms of beating these guys rather than having them uh, kick me around now i'll blow this blue gem which will trigger the uh, the green grenade sorry blue grenade triggers the green grenade a lot of stuff going on i will chuck in a flame bomb because basically flame bombs the beauty of flame bombs and why i like them is that they do a lot of damage over time obviously some of your special heroes may do such a similar skill um there are a few heroes that do like damage over time with flames or poison or whatever um, so now those guys are now sizzling nicely. I can use this special skill. It's going to be worth me trying to keep Flint activated. Although, as I say, I, as I didn't take any uh, mana potions, that's not going to be an option. Um, this fellow here, Kurgan, is about to go off. He's about to use his, his regular attack. Not too dangerous. Uh, as you can see, it did a reasonable amount of damage, even so, to uh, Ryoko here. But it wasn't uh, as bad as if he'd got his special skills, uh, special skill to go. Now I will ch toss in another chrono grenade. Now you'll see their charge level is still zero, um, which suits me very nicely because I don't want them to get their charge together because that will make them much, 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 much more dangerous than if I continue to just kill them uh, without them using their special attacks. You'll see Wallace there uh, took a hit. Uh, he would have counterattacked, so he did a fair amount of damage back to them. I'll just get his health. In this case, I'm going to get him up slightly above 500 because I want to keep him alive. Uh, keeping, as I say, keeping heroes alive is good. Uh, dead heroes don't help you very much. True fact. Um, there we are, a sort of rolling combo there, just by chance. It's not essentially that essentially what I'm aiming for. I will use a couple of bandages there on. Uh, I want to say Kayla. Quite okay, it was right, Kayla. Uh, so Kayla will stay alive. Uh, counter attack, I want to have up, particularly as Kurgan's about to hit somebody. May as well uh, let them damage themselves because I will do more damage to them that way than my own uh, basic attacks will do. So he's done a fair amount of damage to himself. Basic healing things here come into play again. Um, now they're still uh, generating health, uh, sorry, um, they're generating charge. So I will put another uh, Chrono Blaster on. Now, by this point, you can see that Kurgan and uh, Sure Shot are almost dead. Um, and I haven't really hit them all that hard. Um, I haven't used that many weapons in total. Mainly what I've been doing is just keeping people alive. Because this isn't, it's not a race. Um, it's not like a challenge event where you have to try and do it quickly. You can really take your time. Uh, and if there's no hurry, I would suggest generally you don't use your most expensive uh, battle items. Save them for when you need them. Use your cheap battle items uh, for missions where there is no hurry. Save your expensive battle items for missions which uh, there is a time bonus. Um, Kurgan, not long for this world now. Goodbye, Kurgan. I may as well just use. So you'll see that um, although I've used uh, what do we call it, three Chrono Blasters, I've only used two Flame Bombs. Um, this is a mission which is going to get me some really useful uh, resources. 
and I'm still, uh, you know, I've not used all that many battle items to get through it, and I'm still doing it with only um, four-star heroes. I'm not using any uh, five-star heroes, uh, aside from anything else, I don't have any available. Now that there is only one um, enemy hero left, I'm going to sort of, uh, I'm just going to lay off the items altogether. I mean, I could continue to time stop, um, her, uh, what's the name, Ryoko. I'm not going to, though, because I don't particularly need to. Uh, if one of my heroes now were to die, and it's not impossible she will kill one of them, it, it's not going to stop me completing the mission, basically. Um, so I know it, it, it always sounds a little bit uh, harsh to say, yeah, if one of your heroes dies, hey, who cares? But, um, well, it's harsh for them, I guess. But it's okay. Um, oh, there we are, she's dead. And so you can see, so I've done that mission using uh, bandages, healing kits, two flame bombs and three chrono blasters and that has got me those important uh, 16 emblems that were there at the start uh so it's not fast but it's relatively easy uh chrono blasters are really the key um chrono with with chrono blasters you can complete almost every mission and chrono blasters require i believe uh oh, hang on uh sorry sure we did the plan was to scare the enemy back to where they came from Ah, as I, as plans go, that's not the worst one I've heard. Anyway, they they talk about their plans. They always talk about their planning. And to be honest, like everybody else, I don't really read what they talk about because. Uh. Um. Anyway, so yeah, there we are. the The purpose of that was to have a look at uh, how to use battle items. Uh, well, the best battle items to use. Really, as I say, it's to keep your costs down. Is so you are not spending a massive amount of uh, food, iron, etc., etc., to complete a mission um, by building lots of very, very expensive battle items. Um, now, I used some chrono blasters. Now, chrono blasters require it is uh, level eighteen um, workshops. They are expensive in terms of iron, especially one hundred and twenty-four thousand iron. But the overall uh, materials that you need are not hugely expensive. Everything else I use then really is quite cheap. Um, flame bombs are probably slightly, well, they're slightly more expensive. But, uh, you know, 33,000 iron, so not hugely iron expensive. Their most expensive is batteries. Uh, the other items I used were the regular health kits, um, which require, well, nothing i mean you could see like thousands of each of them and they require food uh, and generally i find i have more food available than iron because of the battle items i'm building so i can easily re replace those and i also use the standard bandages which are as cheap as uh, if you'll pardon the expression as cheap as chips so there we go um that is my recommendation for completing um slightly harder missions where you are trying not to use your most expensive battle items and you are not trying to do it against a timer. So try and save your battle items for uh, special events as far as you can, but bear in mind that things like emblems and uh, there's another thing here, the defense alert, those are missions that are well, well worth completing um, because things like these, tact these tactical masks are really hard to get hold of um if you don't take advantage of uh special operations so use the special operations to get what you need um as often as possible you're better off completing special operations than you are in farming uh, and the key to using them effectively is to complete as many special operations as you can uh even if it means using battle items um that said having said complete loads of special operations uh, is worth pointing out that some special operations, such as gain experience, I would say are not worth completing at all because experience is something you'll just earn over time. Uh, and there's no particularly significant advantage to having more uh, more experience um, than there is to just earning it generally. So don't don't rush to do experience missions. Same in, per in my personal opinions for food, iron, and some of the scavenging missions they they just don't really benefit you over just doing standard farming um that's that's my personal advice anyway 
Anyway, so I hope there was something useful in there for everyone. Um, as I say, this is kind of a video. I'm trying to do a few sort of throwbacks to uh, completing missions and stuff because I know I've done completing mission videos before, but um, I'm quite conscious that the game has developed quite significantly since I uh, did many of those videos. And also it has, of course, been released globally. So there'll be some new players out there looking for, uh, for new and up-to-date advice because the game um, does... Well, the game does and has changed. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I do appreciate it. Please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. Tell your friends, enemies, neighbours, etc. And uh, it just remains for me to say, may death come swiftly to your enemies. Take care of yourselves. Farmer Ben wishing everybody all the best. And au revoir. Goodbye.